Hi guys and welcome back to yet another video here on Conan Exiles today we're back at it again with another video and today we're going to be taking a look at how to survive not only the combat but the heat of the volcano so let's jump into it right now okay then so first things first for this video I am staying cloaked because there are areas of the volcano where enemies will attack but as you can see there I'm not in god mode, we're just in the cloak for this video and as we can see by our temperature at the moment we're doing ok and if we take a look at our stat sheet here and we go all the way down to the bottom to temperature as we can see just like the cold we're getting a decent heat resistance as well and that is because once again I am wearing the Redeemed Legion which is the better version of the Silent Legion so it's the full Redeemed Legion set and it is just illusioned as the Skelos Cultist armor which is what some of the NPCs up here you'll see wearing something similar to so I just thought we'd use this outfit to fit in with the venue where we are so that is my gear and we're not going to go over all the armor sets that we did in the cold because they're very very similar but light and medium armors really aren't ideal for the volcano only because you only get the very minimum two bars of heat protection or one bar with a lot of them but ideally when you come up to the volcano you want to be coming up here with ideally heavy end game armor of some sort because to be quite honest it is quite dangerous up here and the majority if not all of the enemies that do attack up here do hit pretty hard so not only do you need the protection from the heat you also need some decent armor to survive and you can see there are three sets out behind me with the champions on the right of your screen and then we have what looks to be two identical silent legion but the set behind me behind my back is the redeemed legion same as i'm wearing and the one to the left of the screen is the regular silent legion which has a bit less armor value than the redeemed legion and also a bit less on the heat resistance but we'll take a look at those in just a second again you could come up here without any armor but as we could see there I have good heat resistance so as I said we're in the volcano which if I zoom out a minute as you can see is all this area here this is the volcano and we're just over here on the east side at the moment up in an area called the shrine of the oracle so if you ever get an XP quest that says visit the Shrine of the Oracle, you need to come to the volcano. And if I just pan around a minute, you can see this is where you need to be. You're looking for these big statues. And this guy will also be here as well. You can speak to him and he'll kind of tell you who he is a little bit. But when you come up here, like I say, you can come in. Redeem Legion will get you up here quite easily because as you see you get quite a lot of heat resistance and have no other buffs on yet and also the champions is very good so if we take a look at the champions first as you can see we get now this was just spawned in however if you craft this with an armor a tier 4 armor you may get slightly more increases on the stats and the resistances but as you can see there and the champion set is more of a stamina and strength set as you can see there and uh, that is once again just to show you on the male and female so male on the left female on the right and i'll come back to this one well this is what i'm wearing which is the redeemed legion and as you can see there once again it's only two bars here on each because this was just spawned in rather than crafted to get the extra bonuses with a tier 4 shield right if you want the most armor value and then this one on the left is the regular silent legion and as you can see there even in the spawned in version there is only one bar of heat and one bar of cold protection whereas you get two from the redeem legion now obviously as i say if crafted with a tier 4 armorer or even a blacksmith uh, you're going to get, but ideally your armor, you're going to get your higher armor value and also you're going to get your better heat and cold resistances just as we said in the previous cold resistance video if you did miss that one I'll leave a card for it at the end of this video go check that one out so you know 
how to survive the heat and the cold. So one thing just so that we kind of cover all bases as well, there are lots of other armors you could also wear that would give you heat and cold protection just as we previously said and there are some other end game armors that would also help you up here but not going to cover them in these videos because we don't want to go too in depth with them we're trying to keep this as basic and as simple as we can so I just like to use these two particular sets because they are two that I favour myself and a lot of other people like them and once you get the recipes for them they're fairly easy to craft the champions takes a little bit more because you need armor scraps and to get those you're going to have to come down here to Clayle's Stronghold and farm that for the champion's armor and then the Redeem Legion takes other materials like black ice and what have you things like that which is still fairly easy to obtain once again and you do need a tier 4 armor in your bench to be able to craft the Redeem Legion as that will appear at the top of your menu whereas the Silent Legion the Silent Legion Medium and the Silent Legion Light will appear alphabetically further down your list. And there are lots of others like Godbreaker and maybe other different armor sets that still give you some bonuses. Yes, by all means, if you want to come up here in Medium Armor, do give it a try if you've got a good follower with you, but just be prepared to be fighting the heat and staying cool a lot more. And be prepared with a bedroll because you will most likely die up here because this is one of, if not the hardest place on the map not just because of the heat but because of the enemies that are the highest tier enemies in the game and they do hit like trucks some of them so you need to be prepared so that is with our armour and some of the armours you can wear if I just remove my armour a moment so as we can see there now I have literally no armour on Glutton for Punishment has just kicked in, as you can see there. As I am extremely hot, it says, and as you can see, I am losing health. So to combat this, we can drink some iced tea. So I'm gonna drink about three of those. Now it just says I'm very hot still. So I'm cooling down, I'm very hot, I'm now just hot. And that is literally me stood here with zero armor on. So as you can see there, straight away, I was losing health and it was instantly very hot. But now we're cooling down and we're just hot, which is manageable. But if you try doing this like this, to be quite honest, you're going to use a lot of iced tea in here and you could probably run out really easily. However, if you bring this shield with you, if you manage to get this from a legendary chest, this is Mistborn. And as you can see, health damage of 58, arm pen of 14. It's a legendary shield, just shield smash, and it's heat insulated, which essentially means if I equip this shield, I'm not even hot now. Pop it away again. As you can see, it says I'm hot. Bring it out, no longer hot. So if we take a look at our stat sheet without any armor, and we go down to our temperature as you can see there we've got no cold or heat resistance whatsoever so that's why we get hot straight away if I pop this in my hand and then we go back to our sheet once again down to our temperature as you can see we get a good few bars there of heat protection still not absolutely fantastic that is helping us a little bit but that's not really gonna it was too good it will survive for a little bit but to be quite honest there is no reason why you would want to come up into the volcano with just a shield a weapon and no armor because never mind the heat getting you as you can see there it said hot once again even with the shield in my hand so i've had to drink a bit more iced tea to keep my temperature down why on earth would you come up here without any armor anyway not just to handle the heat but also the enemies you would you'd get one shot really really easy so then if I stick my boots back on, but I keep this shield in my hand, just to give you an example. Not only do my armor values go up, as you can see there we get a slight increase in heat resistance once again. And then if I pop the rest back on. So we're in our full Redeem Legion now. Uh, this would apply the same with the champions. With the Miss Moon shield in our hand, if we take a look at our stat sheet once again temperature we now have 
great cold resistance but there's not much cold in here so that's fine but a full bar of heat resistance so we can manage in here in our redeem legion <clears throat> excuse me with out the shield in our hand we still get more than adequate we're only three bars down on the heat resistance but if we're a axe and shield or mason shield or sword and shield type of strength build we're always going to have our shield out because we're going to be fighting and our weapon in our other hand but as you can see there because of this we're now getting the full bar of the heat resistance so you can essentially come out equipped to handle the cold because you can have soul spell or soul spiel as people pronounce it you can fight your way through the cold survive that with your spicy food obviously you'll need plenty of drink with you but as you drink you will cool down so you'll need your spicy food with the cold go back to your regular food once you're in the volcano you don't want to eat spicy food in here whatsoever please don't do it because you will increase your temperature more and potentially kill yourself so it's really not worth it you need some ordinary food for when you come in here and then you can switch out from soul spell to mistborn and survive the heat of the volcano so there you have it then guys like i say not a lot to it but pretty tricky to understand if you've never played the game before you just think it's a volcano i mean the clue should be there in the name the fact that it's a volcano it's going to get very hot but not also is it very hot it is very dangerous because these are the higher tiered highest tier enemies in the game and they hit extremely hard so you don't only need some decent armor and ideally a decent follower with you if you are a follower thrall person shall we say and certainly some decent heavy armor you could probably do this in the basic heavy armor if you're just at the start of the game and you don't really have champions or the silent legion just yet but ideally these are two of the best sets for the volcano as well as the cold and as you can see you can either leave them showing as they are on the mannequins there behind me if you like the style of the armor or if you want to change it to something you can use the illusionary system from sorcery and change your outfits especially like for the females i like to use the earrings and the bracelets rather than the helmets i think it looks a bit nicer but you could use whatever outfit you want or you can keep it just as is so once again that's the armor that's the reasons why you need the armor come with plenty of iced tea which is easy enough to make on your stove and obviously then you'll be able to drink this in here don't drink it out in the snow because that will just make you even colder kind of self-explanatory iced tea and mist morn for the volcano spiced food and soul spiel for the snow well all right then guys that is just about going to wrap it up for this one that's another one done that is how to survive the enemies and also the heat here in the volcano i hope you found this one interesting i hope you found it remotely helpful if you did let me know in the comments down below leave your questions down there also give me a like on the video let's try and get 50 likes if we can it will just help push this video out to more people because i do like to bring you guys this type of content if you find it interesting and helpful and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already it's totally free to do not only will you then get to see the next content that we bring out but you'll also be helping us to reach our goal of 500 subscribers by the end of this year we're well on the way to it now at 435 so i reckon even well before christmas we should do it but thank you so much for your support it is very very much appreciated as i say questions comments down below and until i see you in the next video or the next live stream which this is monday at the time of this video and the live stream is on friday that will quite possibly be the first live stream of chapter 2 age of war so until a chapter 2 my friends i will say goodbye bye for now